Welcome to D-Lab project of the day. So we're going to convert this Blackface Fender Princeton into a 40 watt amp. We're going to kind of put the D-Lab Mesa Boogie Touch on this thing. Now don't have a heart attack. This thing is not original. Okay. That's why we decided to do it. Because I understand what these amps are actually worth. Okay. But this is what the owner wants. So we're going to convert a Princeton into a Kingston. Let me show you how to do it. So what does the conversion consist of? Well, we're going to start out with this big classic tone output transformer. It's going to sit there. New 6L6s, so it's a 40 watt amp. I'm going to add a choke, which is going to end up where this current output transformer is. So he'll be uh, nuzzled underneath. New filter cap, 525 volt since we're going to be stepping up the voltage with this new monster transformer. And this guy has to sit back here. You can see physically she'll make it, but it's going to be a tough fit. I'm going to have to mill the chassis. All right, so first, obviously, you want to get the tubes out because we don't want to destroy them in the process. Now this guy has some really nice porcelain sockets that I installed in the past. So the 6L6s with the amount of heat that they produce, these would be great for those. Okay, This guy's got to come out and this guy's got to come out. So I'm pretty much going to remove all the transformers, the cap, we'll measure this out and mill for the new transformer to go in. So here's the underside of the amp, current power transformer. You can see the opening here. There's a lot of room around it. Got a terminal board here, I'm going to have to remove. The bias pot's going to have to move. But that should allow plenty of room to open this up around a half inch all the way around to accommodate the new power transformer. The bias board is hanging out back there. I don't think he'll be in the way. So let's get these transformers removed and start doing layout. So here we are in the mill. We've got the pattern laid out. Transformers, tubes, all that are out of the way. So let's make a hole. Making some progress. Power transformer is milled and installed. There's a filter cap. It's going to clear the speaker nicely. New choke. That's actually in the position of the old original output transformer. And it actually lined right up with the holes. I didn't even have to drill. And over here is the monster output transformer. So we're going to get that in position next, and get it bolted down, and the wiring process will begin. So here she is powered up. You can see my new screen resistors. Everything else pretty much stayed stock. I'm coming into it with an audio generator, into a dummy load on the scope. There's the output. Super powerful, super clean. So the next step, let's get the player over here and see if he's happy with it. Here's what the amp looks like now. There's your new power transformer, filter cap, choke. You see this cabling, I'll explain that in a minute. There's the output transformer. The reason this cabling for the output transformer is on top is to keep the inductance, those leads, away from the preamp section. If you were to drill them mounted underneath, it'd be a feedback monster. It'd be uncontrollable. So that's why I do that. Here we have uh, the newest project. This is the Fender Princeton turned into the Kingston, we're going to call it. This is, uh, we're taking the Princeton's power transformer and output transformer and upgrading them basically to a vibroverb, uh, doubling the wattage. We're putting in 6L6s in place of the 6V6s, and Terry added a choke to quiet it. This little monster is uh, something to behold now.
backside, 6L6s, all happy, smelling nice and hot, just the way Tony likes it, huh? <laughs> Wanna hear them burn. <laughs> Smell them burning. All right, man.